Now, if you're a science fiction nerd like me, the word Ansible is something you're familiar with. It's a device that allows instantaneous communication across interstellar distances. Well, in the world of DevOps, it's a tool that allows us to do automation, it allows us to do configuration management, and it can do it on a huge scale, which is really nice. Now, my favorite things about Ansible are that it's, it's very simple. The concept is very simple. It's very powerful, and I'm going to say it again because it's so true. It's very, very simple. So... How it works is a server and client type interface. It's developed by Red Hat, and Red Hat actually does have a commercial aspect to this called Ansible Tower, which is a great and it's a powerful tool and it's worth paying for. It, it makes a really nice web-based interface for managing all of your Ansible clients and Ansible hosts and stuff, but you don't need that because Ansible in and of itself is completely open source and you can use it without any limitation to how many clients or anything like that. So we're gonna learn how to use the open source part of Ansible because it fully enables you to use all the aspects of Ansible. So it's not limited in any way. And when I think of Ansible, I like to think of, you know, the tower analogy kind of makes sense. I see why they named it that. Ansible is just one central point that you can control a bunch of computers just in one spot. So it doesn't matter how many you're controlling, you just have to do it in one place and it can scale out to all those various hosts. Now it's really nice, it does it on the command line, it uses tools like SSH and, and it's just, it's really powerful, it's really simple, but it allows you to do things even to computers that other tools like Puppet or Chef are unable to access. Because of that simplicity, it makes it even more useful in some cases than those tools. So I'm excited to get this course going with you. I hope that you're able to utilize Ansible even from the first nugget. You should be able to do stuff that will help you in your environment. Ansible thinks the same way system administrators think. So if you're somebody who's used to working on the command line, Ansible is going to be right up your alley. So let's get right down to business. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.